Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. It is Julie here with your Tip Ranks pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back, and thank you all so much for being here. This morning, we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, notable earnings reports, and the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Just before we get into all of that, this is a reminder to make sure you go and check out TipRanks TV, our new awesome live streaming service right on the TipRanks website. This will have all of our regular fantastic content, plus some amazing original series as well. So you can head over to the link right here in the video. Now, let's get right into to this morning's exciting stock market news. U.S. stock futures are actually in the green this morning as markets seem optimistic for a diplomatic resolution to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Currently, Dow futures are up 0.7%, S&P 500 futures also up 0.7%, and Nasdaq futures up 0.77%. Online food ordering and delivery platform DoorDash has revealed that it's entered into an agreement to acquire hospitality startup Bebot. With this acquisition, DoorDash aims to provide restaurateurs and food and beverage venue operators more solutions for their in-store and online channels. Following the closure of the deal, Bebot's in-store digital and online ordering solutions will be available to merchants for no monthly subscription fee through August 31, 2022. The CEO of DoorDash said that we're excited to bring our combined suite to an even wider selection of merchants across the hospitality space, including bars, hotels, and ghost kitchens. The DoorDash stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 60%. Energy Transfer is reshaping its portfolio with the disposition of its 51% stake in Energy Transfer Canada for $1.3 billion. The other party in the deal is a joint venture related to KKR Managed Infrastructure Funds and Pemina Pipeline Corporation. Alberta-based Energy Transfer Canada provides natural gas-related processing and gathering services. Per the terms agreed upon, the transaction value of $1.3 billion includes preferred equity and debt of Energy Transfer Canada. The net cash proceeds related to the transaction will be roughly $270 million. The Energy Transfer stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 33%. Biopharmaceutical company AbbVie has completed its acquisition of Syndesi Therapeutics to help bolster its neuroscience portfolio. As per the agreed terms, AbbVie will pay shareholders of Syndesi an upfront payment of $130 million. The shareholders can receive additional contingent payments of $870 million upon the achievement of certain predetermined milestones. With this deal, AbbVie will be able to access Syndesi's portfolio of novel modulators of the synaptic versicle protein 2A. This mechanism is being tested for treating cognitive impairment and other symptoms associated with a range of neuropsychiatric and neurodegenerative Degenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. The AbbVie stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an upside potential of 2%. Oilfield service corporation Halliburton has announced the opening of its first chemical reaction plant in Saudi Arabia. It will be located in Saudi Arabia's Plaschem Park in Jubail and will enhance Halliburton's presence in the Middle East. It has the capability to produce a diverse range of chemicals for the prevalent industries of the region. The facility bolsters the company's specialty chemicals research abilities and applications for oilfield stimulation and production. The Halliburton stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 3%. Now moving over to notable earnings reports. In the pre-market this morning, we're still waiting to hear from Dollar Tree and Abercrombie and & Fitch. In the after hours, we'll be hearing from ChargePoint, American Eagle, Victoria's Secret, and C3AI. Already this morning, we heard from Paysafe, who came in ahead of analyst expectations. They reported Q4 revenue of $371.1 million versus the consensus estimates of $357 million. Their total payment volume of $31.5 billion increased 20%, and their adjusted EBITDA of $105.5 million increased 11%. With just two analyst ratings, the stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 142%, though I'm sure we'll see several analysts reiterating price targets following the earnings today. 
Last night, we heard from SoFi Technologies. Their shares popped in the after hours following an upbeat Q4 earnings report. They reported quarterly revenues of roughly $286 million, which was up 67% year-over-year and surpassed the consensus estimates of $280 million. Their loss per share for the quarter stood at $0.15, which was narrower than last year's loss of $1.85 per share and better than the consensus estimate of a loss of $0.17 per share. They're currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 65%. We also heard from AMC, who booked a lower-than-expected loss for their fourth quarter and had revenues beat analyst expectations. The company recorded the strongest quarterly results in the last two full years with positive EBITDA. AMC incurred an adjusted loss of $0.11 per share, lower than the street's estimated loss of $0.26 per share. They reported a loss of $3.15 per share last year. Their adjusted revenues came in at $1.17 billion against the estimates of $1.09 billion. Not a favorite among analysts, the stock is currently rated a hold with an average downside of 35%. And we also heard from Salesforce, who came in with solid results for their fourth quarter on the back of strong revenue growth. Their quarterly revenues came in at $7.33 billion, up 26% from the previous year and topping analyst estimates of $7.24 billion. Their earnings stood at $0.84 cents per share. The figure was lower than the previous year's earning by 19%, but did surpass the consensus estimates of $0.75. Cents. Their stock is currently rated a strong buy with an average upside of 48%. Now let's see which stocks are this morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Nordstrom. Their stock is soaring after they announced bigger profits on fewer markdowns. Under the ticker JWN, the stock is currently up 32%. They're followed by SoFi Technologies. Following their earnings report, under the ticker SOFI, the stock is up over 14%. And likewise with Paysafe, under the ticker PSFE, the stock is currently up 10.7%. Our biggest losers this morning are led by Ericsson. Their stock is down after the Department of Justice criticized their Iraq report. Under the ticker ERIC, the stock is currently down over 14%. They're followed by Chemocentrics. Under the ticker CCXI, the stock is down nearly 13% following their Q4 loss. And First Solar, under the ticker FSLR, down 12.7% following their Q4 results. So that is going to be everything for Wednesday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.